Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, we are going to do a lot of law here. And I'm going to start dividing up the show in a political show, interview show, as well as legal shows. It's all going to be the Bulldog Show. But I respect your time. And I want to make sure that you get to tune in what you want to tune in. Somebody want, wants all three can watch all three. But I want to bring to your attention a class action lawsuit that Dieter's Law is handling. And I want to get your help in helping us, because this is a very big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, several years ago, I received three or four faxes from St. Elizabeth Hospital from a medical doctor that was practicing there. And these faxes, in very much detail, told me St. Elizabeth Medical Center, along with DaVita, and along with the Tri-State Urology Group, were placing people on dialysis before they needed to be placed on dialysis. In other words, their creatine levels did not warrant them going on dialysis. And we represent several people who've gone through that horror. One guy was a truck driver, and he's working fine, and he goes to an appointment, and they say, man, you gotta go to dialysis right now. Those of you that do not know what dialysis is, it is mechanical kidney support, and you know what it costs? It costs about 10 times, I mean $10,000 a pop. People go three times a week, look at the money St. Elizabeth Medical Center, DaVita, and tri, the Tri-County uh, Uro Urology Group is making. Think about that, folks. Putting people on dialysis before they need it. How sick is that? Very Durrani-like, isn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, if you were somebody who was placed on dialysis, dialysis from a St. Elizabeth Medical Center doctor or the hospital or DaVita or the urology group, and you're suspicious of whether or not you really needed it or they really needed your loved one, text me at 859-250-2527 or email me at eric at ericdieters.com. This is the way we can get justice and uncover this mess. By the way, yesterday I got an email from a former nurse at a Cincinnati hospital, Blockbuster. Thank you. I'm probably going to be doing an interview with her soon, as well as filing a lawsuit. But ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, how sick is it? And by the way, you think, oh, Bulldog, you, that sounds too crazy. It all began by receiving faxes from a doctor who worked at St. E's. I was honored they sent it to me. But we want to help more people. We know many of you are affected. Many of you don't even know it yet. That's why it's a class action. We've yet to get all of those that were affected that they know they did this to. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. I will never stop taking and fighting these causes.